I'm in. So today I'll be doing my first ever talking vlog and I'm going to talk about the behind the scenes of my Father's Day box. So the first step I took was to do a little research. Um, I did research on my competitors and what they were doing for Father's Day. So what I looked at is um, the price of their product, what was um, in their product, the delivery methods and payment methods and all the little details. Um, obviously I tweaked it um, to what suits us. <clears throat> so yeah. Uh, the next step is um, the photo shoot and creating the product. It's my first time creating the actual product, so it's very exciting and probably my favorite step. Um, I get to see all my ideas come to life, which is super exciting. We just gotta grind for that paycheck. Mama told me one day I'll be famous. Remember when she used to say she hate us. Back then they would laugh when I say shit. Now I'm inside all them people's playlists. Till one day I'll be stomping on those stages. But right now we just dancing in the basement. Fuck that, when I get that paper, I'm gonna keep a strap. Fuck you, I can't let nobody go and take my stacks. Bitch, you saw us back, you can go and sell my nerd sack. I can't look back, cause you know I'd be above that. Uh, I like bitches, uh, yeah, I like bitches. So the next step is to plan my marketing advertisement, um, which in this case is my Instagram post. Um, so after I edit my photo, I write up my caption. Um, and I think captions are as important as the image you choose and I love connecting with my target audience and I find that for me what works best is like longer captions. Um, the next step after posting the Instagram post, I would um, promote it. When I promote it, um, like Instagram will prompt a few like questions and steps and stuff like choosing your target audience, the budget, and it's quite straightforward and it's really good to read up on what each of the components mean and stuff, yeah. <laughs> Um, so on Saturday night, I stay up till like midnight organizing all the orders and I was really nervous because I had to rely on my parents to deliver the orders for me the next day and I don't want to say they're not reliable but I was just very nervous because I couldn't do it myself um, because I had to be at the cafe um, so yeah, having to rely on them was very nerve-wracking for me um, so I um, made like a table of all the customer orders and their name, their number and their address and I also categorized them by the suburb they lived in and obviously like the bigger categories like pickup and delivery. Most of them opted for delivery but some was on like pickup and I was super nervous like not just about the delivery but I was afraid like the food would get to their house like cold and I was so afraid of getting complaints about that and I was afraid of food spilling. I was afraid of a lot of things. I was so anxious. Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Darling, you send me. So on Sunday morning, I was pretty sleep deprived due to nerves and excitement. But I got to the cafe at 5.30 a.m. Started prepping all the juices, fruit and everything that didn't really need to be hot upon delivery. Um, over here we can see that I ordered a whole lot of Portuguese tarts for the boxes. We get our pastries from Tuga and they are pretty pricey but so worth it. Now you can see me frantically going through all the orders, organizing the customized cards I made and just making sure we don't get the orders mixed up. Um, I also created a little schedule for Max as he was cooking everything for us that day um, and I managed to send off uh, one batch of deliveries early in the morning around 7 before we got busy. And the rest was either picked up or delivered by my awesome parents. Um, yeah, I didn't get any footage of how busy we were at the cafe but we also had orders coming in from our usual business and customers to attend to so it did get a bit chaotic for a couple of hours. But once all the boxes were done, 
it was such a relief and we got lots of people tagging us on Instagram and messages coming in with really positive feedback and I was so so happy. Um, I literally kept telling Max that the whole entire day and yeah I'm most definitely going to do more of these so stay tuned. And thank you so much for staying till the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. May or may not have took me two days to edit. So yeah. <laughs> Peace.